Hello everybody, I'm Greg. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Let's go take a look and see what's in the fridge today. Alright guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Review today. Today's beer is Moylan's Double IPA L. Uh, I'm going to read you some stuff on this. U.S. Beer Tasting Champions since 02, 03, 04, 05, and 07, California. Uh, got a lot of stuff on the label. I mean, it, it would take me a while to read everything off. But it's a pretty interesting label. I've only done one other Moylan's uh, beer, uh, and it was it was pretty good. So uh, this comes from uh, Moylan's Brewery out of Novato, California. It's an American Double Imperial IPA coming in at 8.50 ABV. It's a year-round serving. They make it all year long. So if you've seen these beers in your area, or you can get these beers in your area, shouldn't have any problem getting them all year long. Uh, food pairings, cuisines, barbecue, cheeses, peppery. Monterey, Pepper Jack, Sharp Blue, I mean, it's, you know, all your IPAs are stronger beers, take stronger dishes, stronger cheeses, stronger meats, uh, even Limburger or Gorgonzola cheese, I mean, uh, pretty potent cheese, it's pretty, and this is a double too, so it's even going to be even stronger. Uh, the meat is grilled meat and salmon, and uh, glassware, snifter, you could use the oversized wine glass or the tulip, I got the Duval glass. Uh, it's eight. It's eight point five. So it's you can you can keep it, but it's a hoppy beer, so it's going to lose its hoppy characteristics over time. So you should you shouldn't keep it too long. Look at all the smoke coming out of there. Oh, and there it comes out of the bottle. Oh, well, look at that. It was ready to come out of the bottle. It pours a fairly cloudy beer. Got a good two finger head, finger and a half anyway there. I tried to pour fairly easy uh, bread that it's uh, rather rambunctious out of the bottle. So, I don't think we spilled a drop. Uh, looks pretty good in the glass. Looks very orangey. It looks very IPA. Uh, if you know what I mean, guys. Uh, very, very creamy looking head on the top of the glass there. I normally don't like that much head, but you're going to have that, so it looks really orangey in the glass. As you can see, it's a, it's a cloudy orange color, so let's get a nose on it. See if there's any hops in this beer. What do you think? Yeah, I'm getting a lot of hops. I'm getting a lot of malt there, too, and a little bit of alcohol to go with that. Yeah, it's, uh, it's rather malty. A little on the boozy side too. I don't know. Let's give it a taste and see see what we got. Cheers, everybody. A strong beer. Eight point five zero. Now I can get a little bit of. Get I get a little bit of caramel there too. A little toffee, a little sweet sweet malt there. Get me wrong, it's got some bitter hops there to go with it, but on the back end it's pretty pleasant. It's real pleasant. I'm getting a little bit of grapefruit. Maybe a little bit of pineiness. Not much. Oh, it smells wonderful though. It's a it's a nice double. Oh yeah. That's a winner. Move on the stronger side though, just remember that. It's uh it's gonna be a little more potent than a single IPA, the double and the Imperials. 
they, they tend to be a little on the on the stronger side there. Uh, well, I'm gonna let it warm up. Quit flapping my gums. It's out of the fridge, 40 degrees. So, I'll be right back, and we'll do that final chug. This is a big bottle. It's a 22 ounce or so. It might take me a while to drink this one, so I might have a buzz when I come back. What do you think, guys? Stick around. All right, guys, thanks for sticking around. I've been sipping on this for quite a while now, probably close to 45 minutes, uh, this big bottle. This is, a, this is a very boozy beer for an 8.5. It's almost like a triple IPA. Uh, right bitter, too. It's a little strong for my palate. I thought I was, uh, I thought I was going to, really really like this beer and it's uh, it's really not it's, it's a little over it's overpowering my palate it's uh, it's more bitter than I like I know it's a double but it's really really bitter now I'm getting a lot of booze now that it's warmed up it's room temperature I mean it's for 8.5 you I can smell every bit of that 8.5 so I, man, I hate to degrade it because I've, I've read a lot of good comments about it but it's a little strong for me so it's taken me quite a while, and you know, I might do a, a, another one before I do the final chug. Look at the glass, though. I mean, with that monster head that it had, it's still stuck all the way to the top. So it looks like I had a, a, an ice cream dessert in this glass. It's got so much stuff all on the side. So very nice lacing. And it's a good beer. It's just a little strong for me. Uh, it's a little stronger than I like it to be, even though it's a double. And I like a strong beer, but the hops is a little bitterer than that than I like for it to be. Really, really bitter. But battle chug, guys. It's an A beer. I'm gonna give it an eight. I'm gonna give it an A minus. Uh, it's a little strong for my palate. Uh, beer Advocate gives it an A minus, and Rake Beer has this a 99 overall and a 94 in the style. So uh, it's a very good beer. It's uh, it's probably a very expensive beer to brew, being a double. Uh, a lot of malt, a lot of hop. So expensive beer to make. It's a little strong for my palate right now, though. So uh, I'll stick with the single IPAs. <laughs> a little strong on this one. So guys, if you've had, let me know what you think. Uh, Give me some comments back. I loved it, hated it, can't see it, can't get it, don't know what you're talking about. Let me know. See you tomorrow, guys. We're going to do this all over again.